G'day Trailblazers, my name is Cam, and in today's video I'll be showing some advice about a topic that I get asked about a lot, and that's how to get started learning and familiarizing yourself with Salesforce Marketing Cloud. So let me set the scene. I started to learn Salesforce Marketing Cloud in late 2015, and like most people who started to learn Marketing Cloud, I was required to learn the platform because the company I worked for at the time had just purchased Salesforce Marketing Cloud to replace an existing marketing platform. The product was very different back then, and the resources available to a new user was also pretty limited to just a handful of Trailhead modules, some accelerator and success courses, the official documentation, and of course, Stack Exchange. But in 2024, the learning landscape is so much better. Now, there are loads of reasons why you may want to learn or need to learn Marketing Cloud, including just to upskill and get into the ecosystem. However, for the purpose of today's video, I'm going to assume that you're in the same position I was all those years ago. That you work for a company that's just purchased Marketing Cloud, and you want to know, you know, how to start learning Marketing Cloud. Now I'm going to assume that you have around one year of experience in an email marketing role, which means you've been using one of the many other email marketing platforms that exist. That's to say that you understand a little bit about email marketing. You've got some experience building and sending emails using HTML and CSS. You're experienced in segmenting your customer data into targets and then hitting send on the email, of course. You understand the can span and similar local marketing and data laws, and you're also familiar with how marketing consent works. Now, before I jump in, just a reminder that this advice is based on my own past experience and perspective as a Marketing Cloud user and is not representative or endorsed by Salesforce. Right, so you've just been told that your company has purchased Salesforce Marketing Cloud, and as an email marketer, that means you're going to need to learn how to do your job in this new platform. So where to begin? If you've never heard of Salesforce Marketing Cloud before, then the first thing you should do is visit the product page on the Salesforce site and understand what products are in the Salesforce Marketing Cloud family, and more importantly, which ones you're going to have to learn. Now, at the time of recording, the Marketing Cloud product range includes Marketing Cloud Engagement, formerly known as Exact Target and colloquially regarded as the original Marketing Cloud. And in fact, many people will still refer to Marketing Cloud Engagement when they just say Marketing Cloud. It's most known for its email, mobile, advertising, journey and automation features, and it's designed to create, segment and send highly personalized omni-channel communications using your data. Marketing Cloud Account Engagement, formerly known as Pardot, is a different product to Marketing Cloud Engagement. MCAE focuses mostly on B2B or business-to-business -business communications using your Salesforce CRM data, while MCE, Marketing Cloud Engagement, is generally more focused on B2C or business-to-consumer interactions. However, don't let that smaller scope and scale of MCAE fool you. It's a powerful marketing package that can leverage all of your Salesforce processes and data directly from your Salesforce org. Marketing Cloud Personalization, formerly known as Interaction Studio or Evergage, is a personalization orchestration platform. It's deployed on your website or other digital properties where it captures every action your customers make and then activates that data using a powerful array of real-time next best action tools including integrations with Marketing Cloud Engagement and Salesforce CRM. All this allows you to know what your customer did on your digital properties and then deliver truly personalized multi-channel experiences to them when it matters most. Marketing Cloud Intelligence, or MCI, formerly known as Datarama, is a cloud-based marketing analytics and reporting platform. While this may seem familiar to other data visualization and dashboarding tools, the standout strength of MCI is the ability to use data connectors to bring in data from your various marketing channels, including social, performance, and of course, your data in Salesforce Marketing Cloud engagement, to give your marketers valuable insights into the performance of your various channels and campaigns. Now, the majority of people are going to be using Marketing Cloud engagement, so I'll be focusing on that product for this video. However, don't stress if you're looking for information regarding one of the other products too, as there is a significant overlap in the learning paths for both this resource and the other Marketing Cloud products. So, now that you know which product you're going to be working with, it's time to get to know it a little better. Hands down, the best place to learn about any Salesforce product is through Trailhead, Salesforce's online learning platform that makes learning accessible and fun, and not to mention is 100% free. 
My biggest tip for new users is to set up to Trailhead using your personal email. You're going to be earning points and badges and super badges and certs as you progress through Trailhead. And if your work email ever changes, you're going to want to keep your progress. If you want a quick start in Trailhead, you can also jump into the learning toolbar and then search for the product you're trying to learn for, or add that product as a filter when you're searching through various trails and modules. This way you can focus your learning on the trails and modules that mean most to the product that you're trying to learn. So fast forward now, and you've completed a few trails and you're beginning to understand a bit more about some of the key terms and concepts of how to use Marketing Cloud. The next stop on your learning trail should be to log into Marketing Cloud itself. So the best thing to do is to log in and start to explore and build some familiarity with how the platform works. Now ideally, you should do this with some supervision to begin with, just in case you get stuck or have any questions. Getting together as a team and doing some end-to-end -end email builds is one of the best ways to get comfortable with how email building and sending works in Marketing Cloud. I've got a few videos on my channel that step through the basics of email building and sending, so feel free to follow my steps if you don't have someone on hand or in your business to guide you through these steps. Now, one key thing to note, it's at this point that I usually see that new users are beginning to try and replicate their old behaviors from their previous platform into Marketing Cloud, applying their old processes into this new platform. It's at this point that it's critically useful to have someone more experienced to talk to and guide your learning path to ensure you don't develop any bad habits. And one of the best resources you can access is expert coaching and the accelerators sessions that are delivered by the Salesforce Success Architects. At the time of recording, these sessions are delivered on demand and free of charge for Premier and Signature Success customers, so you can talk to your Salesforce account executive to see which support package you have access to. If you don't have Premier or Signature Success, then don't worry, because most implementation projects come with some retooling or training budget, which means likely you'll get access to some paid training resources. Now the first place you should check, of course, is the Trailhead Academy, where you'll find information on expert-led classes on Marketing Cloud, credential readiness courses, and of course, upcoming boot camps. In the Trailhead Academy, you'll also find Salesforce authorized training providers, a list of certified training partners who deliver specialized training courses, either online or in person. And finally, if you're using an implementation partner to assist in setting up and configuring your Salesforce products, then chances are they will also be conducting some basic training along the way. So don't worry if there are no Salesforce Marketing Cloud subject matter experts in your company, there are plenty of avenues to get an expert to help you out and enable your learning path. So to recap, you've done some trailheads and you've familiarized yourself with the product by playing around and doing some activities. You've also had some expert delivered training. Now at this point, you're likely going to be comfortable with building and sending communications. But Marketing Cloud is so much more than a bulk mail sender. You'll start to ask questions like, can I do this or how do I do that? So where now? So you're experienced enough to know that there's more, but not experienced enough to know exactly where it is or how to read through the Salesforce official documentation to find it. Enter the Salesforce community. One of the best things about the Salesforce ecosystem is the community. The everyday users who take time out of their day to ask and answer questions and to commit their knowledge and experience to the various digital knowledge hubs so that the new generation of trailblazers can follow and learn from their learnings. So where to begin for the community? Well, in no particular order, the community resource hubs that you should be following are as follows. Your local trailblazer community group. If you jump onto trailblazercommunitygroups.com and type in your location and then scroll through all the community run user groups in your area, you'll find that most regions have a user group for each Salesforce product. And you can click into each group, it looks interesting, and sign up to get their next event. Now I have found that most major cities have a Marketing Cloud user group or two. But if you do live in a more remote area, then try searching in the larger capital cities near you and you're sure to find a group that supports your product. This was a little harder back in 2019 when most meetings were still in person. But since 2020, most groups now do some form of virtual catch-ups which means you can open up your opportunities to join multiple groups from across the world. Salesforce Trailblazer Community The Trailblazer Community Boards are a great resource for posting questions and finding answers out about the Salesforce products. You can filter the activity feed to just show topics about products that you want to see, for example, Marketing Cloud. You can even give back to the community by helping others to solve their problems. Salesforce Stack Exchange 
And if one question and answer board wasn't enough, then lucky for you because there's also the Salesforce Stack Exchange. Salesforce.stackexchange.com is another excellent resource for asking and answering questions about the various Salesforce products, of course, including Marketing Cloud. In my experience, if you try Googling your Marketing Cloud problem, you'll often find that someone's posted a very similar question on Stack Exchange. It's always a fun moment when you are searching for an answer to a problem, only to discover that it was your post from five years ago that solved that exact problem. Salesforce Slack Communities But the Salesforce community extends far beyond simple web forms, and there are also entire Slack communities that are dedicated to helping various Salesforce product user groups, including Marketing Cloud. At the time of recording, there are three public Slack communities that I recommend joining regarding Salesforce Marketing Cloud, and those are the How To SFMC group, the SFMC DG group, and the Email Geeks group. Each community has its own strengths and followings, and just being in the Slack group means you can follow the questions that people are asking and learn from the answers that people are providing. And finally, we have individual contributors. These are members from the community who take time to write blogs, host webinars, or even record YouTube videos to share their Salesforce knowledge and experience. There are over a dozen Marketing Cloud experts that I can think of right now who are actively contributing to the fabric of the Marketing Cloud community. However, as they are always new contributors who are joining and existing ones who are leaving the ecosystem, I don't want to name any names just here. But if you do want to join one of the site communities that I mentioned earlier, you find these contributors are frequently having their content referenced as answers to people's questions. So you now understand the product and you're comfortable in the platform and most importantly, you know how to get answers to the things you're unsure about. So where to from here? One of the best ways to further your marketing cloud learning is to quite simply practice, to tinker and to play. Set yourself a goal of creating something cool and then develop the skills needed to achieve what you set out to create. Not only will solving your inventive tasks and challenges build your skills and confidence in Marketing Cloud, they will develop new opportunities to leverage Marketing Cloud in your business. Some of the coolest and most successful Marketing Cloud projects I've ever worked on were only possible because I tinkered around with Marketing Cloud and developed a little proofs of capability that I could then pitch to my manager. Marketing Cloud is a remarkable platform that enables you to create some truly incredible things. So. Spending time exploring its many features and functions is an investment that I wholeheartedly recommend. And if you're not creative enough to come up with your own tasks and challenges, then once again I recommend jumping on one of the site communities I mentioned earlier and ask for recommendations. I've got a series of workshop videos and live soliciting streams that can give you some inspiration as well. So now we've reached my final recommendation. Now at this point, you're likely around two years deep into your Salesforce Marketing Cloud journey maybe more, maybe less, and you've learned from the community and developed your own unique learnings and experiences, most likely driven by the problems you've been solving in your current role or business. So my recommendation is, it's time to give back. It's time to blaze a trail for others to learn from. You can start this trail by simply answering questions on the Trailblazer community, Stack Exchange, or Slack groups. You can even present your learnings at a Trailblazer community group or write about something you discovered or developed and post it on LinkedIn, Medium, or even your own personal blog. Now the first post can be a little bit scary. After all, you are putting your name next to your skills in a public domain, but don't worry, it does get easier. And with every publication, you'll gain more experience and more confidence. Best of all, by doing this, you'll soon make new friends and connections. People to collaborate with and share ideas with. People that can converse with you beyond just the answer boards and Slack channels, but you can create your own community of users who are solving problems and challenging each other together. So there you have it. That is my comprehensive overview of how to go from a day zero to a marketing cloud subject matter hero. Now I have linked all the resources covered in today's video in the description below. If you have found more resources that may be useful to a new learner, then please do drop them in the comments below so that other viewers can find them. If you have found this guide useful, then please do let me know in the comments below and with a big thumbs up on the video. And don't forget that you can subscribe to the channel so that you're notified when I release more Salesforce Marketing Cloud content.